Hi Scorpio, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of March 1st to the 7th, 2021, as we begin the new month. And um, do you want to take this moment to thank you in advance for liking this video, leaving me a comment and subscribing to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And when subscribing, don't forget that little notification bell. Alrighty. And um, when meditating on your beautiful Scorpio energy for the week, the message that came through was on to better days, on to better days. And um, love the song that Spirit chose for you to speak upon the week. Uh, it was Hello Sunshine by Brandon Calhoun. And so that'll be at the bottom of the description, description box, excuse me, um, if you'd like to listen, if I could even say it. And the line, the lines that stood out were goodbye, sweet angel, and goodbye to lonely tears. I'm going to sweep the dust off the moon and pull the lightning from the sky. So goodbye, sunset. Hello, sunshine. If they're just reminding you that you are moving towards brighter, happier, more sunshine-filled days, all right? Let's begin by pulling a message or two from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. For um, I will keep in mind general weekly read for the sign of uh, Scorpio. Take what resonates, leave a dozen for somebody else, and check out your other chart placements for more messages, okay? For our beautiful Scorpios to begin this weekly read for the 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Thank you, Spirit. For Scorpio. Okay, they just want these two. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. And I mean, this makes sense for a reading where they're talking about you moving towards sunshine and happiness and better days. Um, they're drawing me to the part where it says open your heart to it, to joy, to happiness, to a life filled with contentment, um, reminding you that you are moving towards bigger and better things, better days, happier days. But if you're not opening up your heart to it, if you're not accepting or believing that these better days are ahead, you're going to manifest the complete opposite, all right? You're going to get in the way of you and that um, that progress, if you will. And in stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Absolutely. And so you're going to be reminded this week, or maybe you'll just remind yourself in one way, shape, or form, that everything you've been through, everything you've overcome up until this point has left you uh, more powerful than ever, stronger than ever, right? And so it's a time where you're stepping into your own power, your own individual power, by understanding, knowing, within and just in general that there's so much more ahead better days once again let's um continue by pulling seven tarot cards one for each day of the upcoming week for our beautiful scorpios thank you spirit to continue this weekly read for our lovely scorpios Ooh. Keep them coming for Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. And we're going to pull the last three right from the top of the deck. Interesting. And so we're starting off the week and the spread with the star card, Major Arcana. So my friend, you start off the week on Monday uh, feeling very connected to spirit, to the universe in one way, shape, or form, even if you don't realize it. Now, there's also a feeling on Monday to start off the week, spirit pushing you towards a sense of healing. A needed, um, this healing is necessary, all right? To remember, we're talking all about you being so much stronger and uh, powerful because of all you've been through overcome, but it's inflicted some wounds upon you over time regardless of what kind of wounds those are. But Spirit's saying, in order to make the best out of these better days ahead, out of what's to come, you need to initiate some of this healing, all right? And it's so that because it's side by side with this card, it's so you can open your heart up to joy, to um, what you deserve moving forward, okay? And then the Nine of Pentacles to move along to Tuesday. And what's interesting is this came out in reverse at first and they wanted it that way because it feels like to start Tuesday, you feel very powerless, 
feeling like, you know, a little bit uh, fragile or um, sensitive when it comes to just exiting that healing or just initiating that healing, right? And Spirit says they get it. But there's a feeling that something takes place or transpires throughout this day that turns things around, literally turns this card around into the upright position where you decide, you know what, I can actually reach for my independence, reach for this, um, these better days, right? And it just feels like maybe the, the healing needed a little bit extra time so it carried through over into the beginning of uh, Tuesday. But you make your way till you know, by the end of the day, you're feeling better, feeling more confident, again, reaching for what you deserve. And an interesting transition to Wednesday, we have the Six of Swords, if I could pick it up. And so you make your way to Wednesday and there's something, a situation you need to walk away from. Let's clarify this. What do we have for this Six of Swords? Thank you, Spirit. For Scorpio for Wednesday. Wow. Do you hear the noise in the background, my friend? As soon as these cards came out, that happened. Reminding you that whatever situation is popping back up or that you're dealing with at this time, I'm hearing it's one person. Okay, whether it's a relationship, a friend, um, somebody from the past, present, you name it, they cause a sense of chaos in your life. You know, they bring a lot of noise. Um, and it's going to, what? how do I put this? So when Wednesday uh, rolls around, something's going to take place where they either try to come back or they try to be a part of your life where you sort of know better at this point or you understand or reminded by spirit in the universe that this person doesn't have a place in your future, all right? They're gonna get in the way of you in these better days. For some of you, this person could potentially be weighing things down for you, making things feel more emotional, um, more wounded, right? And so you are not feeling this offer and Spirit says absolutely trust the intuition. Um, allow yourself to kind of step to the side as Spirit and the Universe assists you in putting the situation to rest, all right? And so by doing so, you're walking away, all right? Allowing Spirit and the universe to help you with this. Realizing it is truly necessary at the end of the day. And they have the Queen of Wands to move right along. And so immediately once you allow for the release of this person, the situation that clearly wasn't healthy, that felt a bit heavy and chaotic, you're feeling more in your power, more, um, more confidence, more uh, passionate about what's ahead. It's almost like this removal of this person and the healing, all of which together leaves you with this newfound sense of perspective, a new clarity. It's like the cloudiness in your judgment was uh, slowly but surely re being removed. Okay. And we're moving on to the Eight of Swords for Friday. And so it leaves you in a very reflective state when it comes to Friday, asking yourself on a very serious note, who and what is actually making me feel uh, trapped at this point, restricted, you know, and of course, you know, your habits, your mental habits, to say the very least, have a lot to do with this. So you may be thinking about that as well. Um, but allowing yourself to remember that weighing these uh, decisions, you know, who and what needs to go moving forward and who and what's staying, it's all necessary. All right. But don't forget your uh, mental habits as well can at times keep you trapped. And so it reminds you there's still some healing uh, left to be done. It can't all happen in one day, right? And then we're moving on to the judgment card. And so you begin the weekend, my friend, and you are very connected to spirit once again, very much like Monday. But this time there's a sense that you need to release certain emotions, ways of viewing your situation, old habits, um, attachments to people, places, and situations that you know are no longer healthy for you or will sense at one point down the line if you haven't already, that they or that situation will hold you back at the end of the day. All right? And if you don't have the Nine of Pentacles, they're reminding you that releasing all of which is out of respect for your independence, your financial comfort, your future, the success you have ahead for you. Okay? Moving right along to finish off the spread in the week, we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. 
And so in comes a sense of uh, appreciation, recognition at the end of the week to wrap things up with a bow. So let's clarify this one. What do we have for the Six of Wands to finish off the week? Bear with me. Yeah, it just feels like the Judgment card, what we're talking about, releasing emotions and whatnot, it's going to kind of carry through to the end of the week on Sunday, as you can see the emotion that came out with those cards. Okay, so we have the Hermit Reverse and the Fool in Reverse. Bear with me. They want the Hermit in Reverse and then the Fool in the Upright. Uh, this is reminding you, my friend, bear with me. This is, um, to the end of the week, you're going to get this sort of um, clarification, this uh, form of abundance, if you will. It's going to be in the form of recognition, appreciation from your clientele, your coworkers, your boss, uh, soul connections, you name it. It's going to be different for everybody. But it's going to leave you feeling like you can't stay in hermit mode as much moving forward. It feels like the success you have on the horizon for you, that you're getting a hint of a taste of to finish off the week, is going to mean that you need to spend more time with other people, surround yourself with more people uh, that are going to align you with success. All right, reminding you that to keep yourself aligned with people like this from earlier on in the week, not going to help. All right, but this is all in an effort to kind of get you to see that you have a fresh start on the horizon. All right. You have better days ahead for you, and it just feels like a, some healing and clean, clearing out um, of some potential toxic energies is, is all needs to happen to prepare you for this fresh start, okay? So let's finish this off by pulling a Find Your Happy card or two for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. It's this or something better. So when you think uh, this week, especially about situations that leave you feeling trapped or restricted, um, or even, once again, people or situations you have to walk away from, sail away from, remember, it's that or something better. It's this or something better. You can choose. You can stand up and be like, I'm Scorpio. I deserve 10 times better. And you do. All right? So it's a week where you're going to fully realize by the end that there's so much more ahead for you than what you've been dealing with at this time. Okay? So Scorpio, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.